And that story forms the opinion court. In your thought segment, we ask you, what are you doing to support the elderly people around you? Send us your comments and opinions to the SMS number 2058, where we'll sample them on our social media platforms. If you have had the privilege of being in a science class, you must have known or heard about the Wright brothers who invented the aeroplane. The innovations and developments in that front have been ongoing and it will interest you to know that there is a young man in South Sudan who has invented a plane that can carry one person. Let's listen in to the story of Mel George. Just at 23 years of age, George John Malley is a young South Sudanese student who has designed and created a light aircraft. He discovered his talent and love for aeronautics when he was just five years old. But his dreams of becoming an aeronautics engineer have been disrupted by continued fighting in the country as he no longer goes to school because of insecurity. This is his second plane which he built with local materials such as scrap metal and plastics material. This isn't my first work or my first invent. I've done a lot since I was still a kid. Yeah. I've been doing some research and try to work out small aircrafts, make them. There's the one I made before this, it was actually, it was a UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, but I didn't have the system to control it. The wiring, GPS and all this. So that's why I came with an idea of making the second one that could carry a weight of a person. Yeah, using two, it's powered by two gasoline engine, almost like generator, but it's a little bit dis different. You can advance there, like adjust the speed, yeah. George works at home and has turned his room into his workshop, which he calls Aerotech Research. He is also an artist and uses his drawing and painting skills to design airplanes. He develops his prototypes using information he finds on the internet. George wants to study aeronautic engineering, but his dreams were interrupted by the ongoing fighting in his country. Illiteracy and poverty are high in Africa's youngest nation, and there's no college or university where George can study aeronautics. There, there are times where I, like, I'm discouraged because when I do these things, they sometimes call me I'm crazy and all this. Even sometimes when I bring the material, I sneak them into, into the house through the, the fence so that they will not see it. If, I, if they see it, they'll like, start saying I'm wasting money on crazy stuff. Yeah. But despite the challenges, the young inventor remains optimistic. Finding funding for his projects has also been difficult. He even took his first aircraft to the country's Air Force. The, f the first plane I made before this, I took it to Air Force. But since then, nothing was done about it. It was just left there. It was trashed by wind and all this. Yeah. Actually, they told me they'll, recruit, they'll, they'll look for a spare. Okay, they'll make, fix a program to take me for studies. But since then, I've been here. Nothing was done about it. Yeah. Although George's plane isn't quite ready for passengers yet, he believes with the right support, he can become one of Africa's greatest aerospace innovators.